Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Air Bennett Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. In case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals, first I would like to say thank you guys so much for all the beautiful sentiments and comments on the community section. Um, my daughter's birthday was May 4th. She went to prom May 3rd. So it has been a busy weekend. Henceforth, why we are doing a reading today on Monday, I had to give myself 24 hours to detox. It was a very busy, but beautiful, but beautiful weekend. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for all the beautiful birthday wishes and all the beautiful sentiments. I let my daughter read all the messages and she says, thank you. So we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Virgo, someone rise in Venus individuals. When I was meditating over your energy, the song that I got was for you. I will by Monica. Monica happens to be a Scorpio. So you could be dealing with Scorpio, someone rising Venus individual, or someone that you have met in Scorpio season, which is October, November time frame of any year. Okay, I'm, I'm not getting a specific year. You may have just met this person in Scorpio season, and a lot of people will be like, well, how will I know that? You'll know, because a lot of people keep track of like anniversaries and things like that, right? So just putting it out there. Now, the message with that I got is call on them. This, this is, I heard this very clearly. Call on them. They've been waiting. So it's interesting with the song for you, I will, um, what is she saying? I will cross the ocean for you. I will go and bring you to move. I will be your hero, your strength, anything you need. I believe that's the lyrics, right? Um, yeah, I believe that's the lyrics. It's like, if you need this person, just all you have to do is say it. That's all you have to do is say it. I hope I'm not mixing up another song of hers. I'm not a big Monica fan, but I hope I'm not mixing up the lyrics, but I do believe that is what she was saying in that song. That's what I'm, that's just what's coming to me now. So even if those aren't the lyrics to that specific song, there's no such thing as accidents. That's the message you're meant to have, right? But either way it goes, I will cross the ocean for you. I will go and bring you the moon. It's like this person has no limits of what they will do in order to see you happy or in order to see that you are provided for, protected, or feel safe or feel loved is what I'm getting. All you have to do is say it. Some of you guys need to deal with communication, which is a biggie for Virgos, because Virgos are mercurial. Your ruling planet is Mercury. That's communication, mental, data, processing, analyzing. Um, some of you guys can be overanalyzing topics as well and keeping things to yourself and not communicating effectively, which is, again, a biggie for Virgos, but you may be going through some type of cycle where it's like, I don't want to talk about it. You should just know. No, you don't have to tell this person. Or this could be flipped and this could be how you feel about this person. Like, all you have to do is tell me and I'll be there. I'll be supportive. If you're completely single, this could be what you're expiring to have in a relationship. Someone that you could communicate with or someone who communicates effectively effectively with you. Okay? So, we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the hermit. We'll get the card that comes before, the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for those cards. Currently at the bottom of the deck. Okay? And you see how this one flipped down? Well... This flipped on the table, but this one wanted to show. This Seven of Cups, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered emotionally because Cups is your emotions and feelings. It's also talking about options. I feel like somebody feels emotionally scattered because right in front of that, you got the Six of Swords. Sword up is yes, sword down is no. Sword is communication and mental. I'm going to say again, somebody, instead of speaking, because the sword is down, so that's not communicating, instead of speaking about what they want, they're just distancing themselves because she's getting ready to travel. Traveling, you distance. That, that's associated with distance. So someone is going through something emotionally. Uh, I'm going to say again, it could be you. Again, if you know it's not you and you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Spice, Scorpio, they could be distancing themselves. I feel like because they're going through something that they're not sharing with you because she has that hood on. Hoods and cloaks. That talks about disguises or somebody suppressing something. At least that's, that's how I'm interpreting it. I've always felt that way. You know, she has that hood on. It's not raining outside, so she doesn't need it. So it's like she's sneaking away in the night. So it's like someone moving very funny, if you will, on an emotional level, not communicating with you, just assuming that you should understand how they feel or vice versa. Bottom of the deck now, you have the page of cups. Again, somebody needs to talk about their feelings. Somebody needs to address things directly. Because if you notice, he's not looking at us directly. He's not facing us. He's going in a different direction. So I'm getting like some, you know, you have that fight or flight type of personality. We all have fight or flight, right? I feel like when things go difficult or challenging in someone's life, they leave instead of address it directly. Because again, he's not looking at us directly. He's going in a different direction. Like instead of dealing with what's going on, they, they just decide to avoid it altogether and go in a different direction with their behavior, with their actions, with their emotions. Getting that. So 
So let's go ahead and go through the deck and then see. Seven of Swords, Light, Shooter, Manipulator, Sneak, and then you got the Tower right behind it. Then you got the Seven of Wands, two sevens. Somebody's birthday could be on the 7th, 17th, 27th. Someone could be a life path or, or a personal year seven as well. Could have been dealing with this person for seven years. Or you possibly could have not heard from this person for the last seven days, so a week's time. Or today, if you don't hear from this person within today, it'll be a week's time that you haven't really communicated with this individual or this person hasn't communicated with you. It's quite powerful, y'all. So right in front of your energy, you have Justice card, Libra, and then the Wheel of Fortune. Two major arcanas back-to-back -back surrounding your energy. So it's like she's blindfolded here. You can't see her. Something is unfair. Something is unseen. I really feel like because, you know, Libra is justice. I mean, you know, it's justice and the swords. I feel like with communication, somebody's not communicating with you. Like things will be perfectly fine. That Wheel of Fortune, everything will turn in a very positive way um direction because that's a wheel there things would turn in a positive direction if somebody just communicated and i'll say again all you have to do is call this person all you have to do is tell this person how you feel and they're they're there they are, they will be there they're gonna come to your side immediately or you'd be at their side if they told you but it's like something's not balanced here it's something that you're not seeing or they're not seeing that needs to be addressed bottom of the deck and they i'm telling you they will be quick to come towards you and also because you have now that I'm holding this up, their backs are facing each other. It's like you and this person may be going in two completely different directions. You may have felt like this person snaked you out or did something sneaky with that snake there. Also, someone could be born in the year of the snake as well. Someone may also have a snake tattoo. Somebody's nickname could be Snake. I grew up with somebody whose nickname. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I grew up with somebody whose nickname was Snake and he was a Libra. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and part the deck. You have the two of swords. Again, I'm going to say you have two women who are blindfolded here. So this could be two messages, like literally both of you all feel like you don't understand each other because it's something that you're not seeing about the situation or because you have these two women here with blindfolds and they're both air. There's definitely a Libra, someone rising Venus individual in the situation. Um, it could also be, like I said, someone feels stuck between a rock and a hard place and they just feel like, well, how do you want me to address something that I don't have any clear knowledge about? Because swords, again, is knowledge. The swords are up, but they're crossed. The wires are crossing this conversation or this situation. The wires are crossed here. And it's like someone feels... I just keep in the energy. And it's almost an energy of entitlement. Like, you should just know what it is that you should do. You should just know. You should just know my hopes and wishes. And that's not fair, to be quite honest with you, um, for somebody in this situation. Because it's like, no, you need to communicate in order for things to be clear. Assumptions could lead to some very bad downfalls, you know. And then you have the page of cups in reverse. Remember, we just had the page of cups upright. So it's like somebody's not sharing their emotions or feelings, and that's causing a strain on a connection. Something that could be very beautiful is what I'm getting. Let's get a clarifier for the justice card. Clarifier for the justice card for Virgo, someone rising Venus individuals. Okay. Yep. Somebody's not talking. Can't make this up, y'all. Sword up is yes, sword down is no, sword is communication mental. Somebody's not communicating. And I'm going to tell you something also. Pages are young, youthful. They still got growing and expanding to do. So it's like somebody is not very proficient with their communication. Someone is just assuming. This is assumption. This is giving me assumptions. Somebody's just assuming like you should just know the right thing to do. Justice. That's how it's about being just. Somebody's just like you should just know what to do. And where some things are common sense to others... What's so common to you is not so common to the next person. And that's that's something, a reality that some of you all may come across as well. That's going to clarify it for the Wheel of Fortune very quickly. Then I just say this. All it takes is for communication to make that wheel go in a different direction to change the fate. You know, the Wheel of Fortune talks about fate. To change the whole fate of the situation. You guys can be very happy together, celebrations, having good times, enjoying each other's company. But it's like communication is has been stifled and communication is a blockage here. There's a blockage in communication. Somebody may be accusing someone of um, third party. These card, This card is literally just flipping and flopping. I almost flipped off the table and landed on my lap. So because it landed in my lap, it's like it's right in your face, right on your lap. It's like right there in the open that something needs to be addressed. There is an elephant in the room. You can see those two people's face, but you can't see theirs, hers or his. So it makes me feel like somebody may be accusing someone of a third party or feeling like someone gives someone else more attention. Someone may be feeling like it's somebody that they, they don't know about because she's blindfolded here. It could be another party and this is why there's a gap or space between the connection. But again, I'm, I keep getting assumptions. And in, in reverse, it's like this is not a truth. 
This could be an assumption and it needs to be addressed. If it's not addressed, then you're going to keep going through the same energy over and over again. And it's, it's unnecessary. I just keep keeping that it's unnecessary. I literally keep hearing all you have to do is call them. Like you may not be talking to this person, this person's not talking to you. You have to call them and, and communicate. Because I am getting stubbornness like, I ain't got to call this person. I've been calling them, they're not responding. Whatever. I feel like it may be this one more, one last call. Like if you call this person, they don't respond, that's on them. If you cut them off after that, again, that's on them. You've done your due diligence. That's it and that's all. Okay. So Virgo, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.